I want to first acknowledge uh, the Coast Salish peoples, including the Semiamu, the Akatsi, the Kwiketlem, the Kwantlen, the Kakait, and the Sawasan First Nations on whose traditional territory we are on today. आप देख रहे हैं वैनकूवर की जान दिल अपना पाकिस्तान करम मांगता हूँ पता मांगता हूँ इलाही मैं तुझसे दुआ मांगता हूँ पता कर तू शान करीमी का सद का दिला दे इलाही रहीमी का सद का न मांगूंगा तुझसे तो मांगूंगा किससे तेरा हूँ मैं तुझसे दुआ मांगता हूँ जो मुफलिस है उनको तू दौलत अता कर जो बीमार है उनको सेहत अता कर मरीजों की खातिर शिफा मांगता हूँ इलाही मैं तुझसे दुआ मांगता हूँ इलाही हमेशा दो मसरूर रखना बलाओ से हमको सदा दूर रखना परेशानिया हमको घेरे हुए हैं परेशानियों से पना मांगता हूँ इलाही मैं तुझसे दुआ मांगता हूँ आमीन But there's one miracle to see now that we can recite now, that we can read now, that we can memorize now, that we can teach now. That is the miracle of the Quran, the greatest miracle ever given to any human being in history, the greatest document to be ever revealed in history, the most read, the most memorized document in human history, the Quran, and we're a part of that. All of us are part of the miracle of the preservation of the Quran. If we wiped out all the data here in Surrey, burned all the the Qurans here, we 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 wipe the data on the phones and the tablets and the computers. Only one book could be brought back, and that's the Quran. Verbatim, letter for letter, word for word, vowel for vowel, and we can do it here in this masjid alone. You don't have to raise your hand, but somebody in here is a half of the Quran. Just that person is enough to resurrect the Quran. What other book can can, can clean this? Over six hundred six hundred pages are being committed to memory by non Arab. They don't even understand the Quran, but they're able to memorize it. What other book is being read and memorized like this? No other book, and we are a part of it. We are all carrying around that nur of the Quran in, on, inside of our chest. Allah says the Quran is preserved in Sulur and Mukminin. It's preserved in the chest of the believers. So we have to pass that light on to those who don't know. There's people walking around from non-Muslims that have never heard about Islam, and it's our responsibility to convey the message of Islam to those people. The miracle of the Quran to those people. Right? The Prophet ﷺ said, "Bellehu ani walau aya." Convey for me, Bellehu is a is a is a command for everybody. Convey Islam by passing along a verse of the Quran, a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Convey Islam through your manners. 
right? It's on all of us to do something. We're all interacting with non-Muslims on some level. So we have to pass the message on of Islam to those people. Allah Azzawajal said, Alif Lam Ra Kitabun and Zannam Lakin. Tukhrij al Nasib and Al Gulumati bin Nur bi ibn Rabbihim ila Salat al Aziz al Hamid. This book has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, so that you can take people out of darkness and put them into light. Bi ibn Rabbihim. You do your part, but rest assured that you know this is only guidance from Allah. So we have to do our part. As you've all seen here, I'll segue into this before we close, inshallah. I'm here from the Fulkan Project of Canada. Okay. Our mission is to get every non-Muslim in Canada a translation, a free translation of the Quran. It's only in English. Our goal is to get every non-Muslim a free translation of the Quran in Canada. We distribute in hotels, prisons, hospitals, retirement homes, airports, universities, massages, people that are getting street dawah, brothers and sisters who are actively giving dawah in the streets, calling non-Muslims to Islam, we're providing them as well. So this is a perfect opportunity for Sadat Ajaliya. You sponsor a box, there's 52 copies of the translation of the Quran in this box that will be distributed on your behalf. Because you don't have to be a scholar or a mufti or a shaykh to give people information about Islam. But you have to do something, some effort, or aid those people that are in the field of da'wah. Pakistan. When he blew life into a clay bird, 
This was to show the Romans, hey, you may sculpt things, but can you blow life into them? Absolutely not. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala outdid their nation at what they were good at, at their specialization. Now, fast forwarding to the time of the Prophet said that the Arabian Peninsula had plummeted into darkness. Over 300 idols were surrounding the Kaaba. People were burying their daughters alive because they weren't happy with having a female as a baby. It was a shame to them. This is how backwards their thinking was. But then Allah rose from amongst them a man by the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, And he was only, he was unlettered. He didn't read. He didn't write. But all of a sudden started reciting the best Arabic anybody has ever heard. And blew them away. What was, he said the nation of Musa specialized in magic. The nation of Isa specialized in sculpting and remedies and medicine. What was the specialization of the Arab at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi The Arabic language and the shir, poetry. They were at the pinnacle, the mastery of the Arabic language. And at the top of them was Al-Walid bin al mughira the father of Khalid bin Walid. He was the best of the best of the poets of Mecca. If there was a duel, a poetry battle, they would send Walid and he would win. When Walid spoke, everybody listened. This is who Walid was. He was the man of Mecca. And you know what his response was when he heard the Qur'an? This will blow you away. He hated the Prophet Sallallahu he hated Islam. So when he heard the Quran for the first time, was it, ah, get that out of here. No. His response came naturally. And as a poet, the poet he was, he described the recitation of the Quran as a treat. What did he say? He said, Inna lahu la halawa, wa inna alayhi la qalawa, wa inna a'lahu la what does that mean? He said, indeed, there's a sweetness, a charm, and a beauty to this speech. Its high parts are fruitful, and its low parts are intense in its bounty. No form of speech is better than it, and it destroys everything underneath. This was the response and reaction of Al-Walid bin al mughira the greatest poet of Mecca, who had mastery over the Arabic language when he heard the Qur'an. Is this not a miracle? SubhanAllah. The miracle of the Qur'an is a timeless miracle. The miracles I just mentioned about Musa and Isa, alayhim as those were time-specific. Do we see those miracles? No. Do we believe in them? Of course. The Prophet told us about them. Allah told us about them. We have to believe in them. Some of the miracles of the Prophet we didn't see. The splitting of the moon. Do we see that? No. Do we believe in it? Of course. But there's one miracle that was revealed at the time of the Prophet that we can see now. That we can recite now. That we can read now that we can memorize now, that we can teach now, that is the miracle of the Qur'an. The greatest miracle ever given to any human being in history. The greatest document to be ever revealed in history. The most read, the most memorized document in human history, the Qur'an. And we're a part of that. All of us are part of the miracle of the preservation of the Qur'an. If we wiped out all the data here in Surrey, burned all the, the Qur'ans here, we, we, we wiped the data on the phones and the tablets and the computers, only one book could be brought back, and that's the Qur'an. Verbatim, letter for letter, word for word, vow for vow, and we can do it here in this masjid alone. You don't have to raise your hand, but somebody in here is a half of the Qur'an. Just that person is enough to resurrect the Qur'an. What other book can, can, can claim this? Over 600, 600 pages are being committed to memory by non arab They don't even understand the Qur'an, but they're able to memorize it. What other book is being read and memorized like this? No other book. 
and we are a part of it. We are all carrying around that nur of the Qur'an in, on, inside of our chest. Allah says, the Qur'an is preserved fi sudur al mu'mineen. It's preserved in the chest of the believers. So we have to pass that light on to those who don't know. There's people walking around from non-Muslims that have never heard about Islam. And it's our responsibility to convey the message of Islam to those people. The miracle of the Qur'an to those people. Right? The Prophet ﷺ said, بَلِّهُ عَنِّي وَلَوْ آيَةً Convey for me, بَلِّهُ is, is, is a command for everybody. Convey Islam by passing along a verse of the Qur'an, a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Convey Islam through your manners. Right? It's on all of us to do something. We're all interacting with non-Muslims on some level. So we have to pass the message on of Islam to those people. Allah said, Alif Lam Ra Kitabu and Zanam Lakim. Tukhrij al Nasib and Ulumati the Nur be in the Rabbihim in a Sabbath al Ahiz al Hadith. This book has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, so that you can take people out of darkness and put them into light. Be in the Rabbihim. You do your part, but rest assured that you know this is only guidance from Allah. So we have to do our part. As you've all seen here, I'll segue into this before we close, inshallah. I'm here from the Fulkan Project of Canada. Okay. Our mission is to get every non-Muslim in Canada a translation, a free translation of the Quran. It's only in English. Our goal is to get every non-Muslim a free translation of the Quran in Canada. We distribute in hotels, prisons, hospitals, retirement homes, airports, universities, masajid, people that are getting street dawah, brothers and sisters who are actively giving dawah in the streets, calling non-Muslims to Islam, we're providing them as well. So this is a perfect opportunity for Sadaqa Jaliya. You sponsor a box, there's 52 copies of the translation of the Quran in this box that will be distributed on your behalf. Because you don't have to be a scholar or a mufti or a shaykh to give people information about Islam. But you have to do something, some effort, or aid those people that are in the field of da'wah. I'll leave you with two quick, short little points. A man by the name of Tufayl bin Amr al-Dosi came to the Prophet Nobody really knows who that is, I know that, okay? But, he came to the Prophet ﷺ, despite his people warning him, he ended up accepting Islam. And he went back to his nation and gave da'wah. Long story short, somebody famous became Muslim out of his da'wah campaign. Who was that person? Abu Murayrah who narrated over 5,000 hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. You don't know who you're going to guide. And the Prophet ﷺ said, فَوَاللَّهِ لَأَيْ يَهْدِيَ اللَّهُ بِكَ رَجْلٌ وَاحِدًا خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ حُمْرِ النَّعْمِ The meaning of the hadith is, by Allah, it is, it is better, or it's, uh, the world and everything it contains is nothing compared if somebody is guided to Islam because of you. If one person becomes Muslim because of you, think about the Sadaq al-Janiyah. You're guiding generations. That person's going to get married. They're going to have kids. Those kids are going to have kids. And we're all... That exit's coming up for all of us. That exit where we leave this dunya. So what are we doing to prepare ourselves for that? This is a perfect opportunity for Sadaqa Jariya. And I'll close with this last point here. The Fulkan Project of Canada. This is the copy of the translation of the Quran. Authentic modern thematic translation. Non-Muslims have told me how easy and simple it is to read this. And they really appreciate the, the language that the Quran has been translated into the English language, the way the author did this, okay? This is the copy and it's only in English. This is, and we're, we're distributing to people that are showing an interest in learning about Islam, not just going down the street handing it to anybody. Okay? So these are the copies that are being distributed. If you sponsor a box, a box is $156. It has 52 copies inside, and those will be distributed in your name. Think of it as 52 seeds are being planted on your behalf. 
Rest assured, somebody out of those 52 are going to become Muslim. And you'll find out about it uh, when you see your scale of good deeds and the of Qiyam. Okay? If you sponsor 10 boxes, if you sponsor 10 boxes, and I'll end with this inshallah, I appreciate your patience. This is a free gift from the Fulkan Project of Canada. It actually has the Mus'haf here and the English translation. And this can be done monthly. We have we have tax deductible receipts as well. You can pay by cash, card, whatever way you want. But this equals to be five dollars a day, brothers and sisters. That's five hundred and twenty non-Muslims that will read a translation of the Quran on your behalf. And lastly, here we have the twenty box gift. Somebody sponsors twenty boxes. This is a gift that will be given to you from the Quran Project of Canada. So think about what you want to do. We have tables all around the masajid. Like I said to the, uh, the first Jumaq, you know, I have a job, I have a business, I don't ask people for money, but when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have no shame. <laughs> so, think about what you want to do. Pay us a visit at one of the tables, invest in your akhirah. Make your intention on behalf of your parents, or a loved one that passed away. And should be an example to your kids, showing them about giving sadaqah, and, and, and encouraging them to do so. Is that okay? And I'll, I'll leave with this last point. This project is actually very, very close to my heart. Kabuddi player, yahan pe aaye hue aur yahan pe Pakistan ke kaise general bhi aayenge, local politicians bhi aayenge, aur ham chahenge. I mean, saab se puche ke inhone ye itna bada istemam kiya to zaroor aap batayenge ki kya ho raha hai yahan pe. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. سب سے پہلے تو انتخاب بھائی آپ کا شکریہ کہ آپ یہاں ہمارے پاس آئے ہیں اور ہمیں یہ کوڑی دے رہے ہیں اور ساجد بھائی ہمارے ساتھ ہیں فاروق بھائی ہمارے ساتھ ہیں اور باقی سارے ساتھی ہیں تو ابھی مہمان آنے والے ہیں میں یہ صرف پاکستان کی خاطر اور یہ میرا شوق ہے کیونکہ پاکستان سے کبڑی پلیئر آئے ہوئے ہیں تو اس سے ان کی حوصلہ افضائی بھی ہوگی اور اس طرح ایک کمیونٹی گھٹ بھی ہو جائے گا لوگ بھی آ رہے ہیں میں نے ہمارے کون سے جنرل صاحب کو بھی درخواست کی ہے کہ وہ بھی آئیں تو بس یہ میرا ایک شوق ہے کہ میں لوگوں کو اکٹھا کروں اور یہ لوگوں کے ساتھ میرا ایک پیار کا ایک اظہار اظہار ہے ویل یور بہت شکریہ بین بھائی ہم اس پروگرام کی جلکیاں آپ کو اس پروگرام میں دل اپنا پاکستان کے اہلی شو میں دکھائیں گے دیکھتے رہیے بینکوور کی جام دل اپنا پاکستان आपके लाल सिंचा में तब्बा ये जी हमारी इंडियन भाइयों सारे जाने वाले रान दे रान दे हमें इसी तरह मिलजुल के इस कंट्री में रहना चाहिए और एक दूसरे की हमें खुशी में इसी तरह शिरकत करनी चाहिए जिस तरह आज हमने ये किया है बड़ा से इसमें हैंड करता हूँ ये हमारी कबड्डी टीम है बीसी की कबड्डी टीम है इंडिया पाकिस्तान के खिलाड़ी इसमें मगर ये हमारी लोकल टीम है हम सब ने ये सारे हजार ये लोकल टीम है हमें बाहर तक ले ले आए हैं जैसे यूरोप में एक पाकिस्तान इंडिया के प्लेयर जाते हैं हम कनाडा में आने शुरू हो गए और ये कबड्डी के प्लेयर जो है ये इंटरनेशनल गेम बनती जा रही है तो हम चाहेंगे की इसको सपोर्ट भी करे फाइनेंशियली भी जी मैं सुपर सरी का बहुत मशहूर हूँ और अमीन खान का बहुत शुक्र गुजार हूँ कि उन्होंने मुझे इस खूबसूरत टीम से मिलवाया अब ये सुपर सरी मेरी टीम है और मैं इसका फैन हूँ बेस्ट ऑफ लाइफ थैंक यू वेरी मच अगेन अमीन खान ने ये इतना बड़ा इवेंट किया है यहाँ पे और इसमें सुपर सर है 
और यहाँ पे जो कबड्डी के प्लेयर्स आए हैं दोनों मुल्कों के हम चाहेंगे इसी तरह ये मिलजुल कर खेलते रहें और एक दूसरे में मोहब्बत बांटते रहें बहुत अच्छी बात है आप लोग यहाँ मैं थोड़ा सा ये हमारे प्रेसिडेंट ज्योति शर्मा साहब का हाँ। बहुत शुक्र गुजार हूँ इन्होंने हमारे तमाम खिलाड़ियों को ग्रूम करते हैं उनकी खिदमत करते हैं बिल्कुल कबड्डी की काफी खिदमत करते हैं इन्होंने काफी हमें सपोर्ट किया है सब खिलाड़ियों को सपोर्ट करते हैं काफी मेहनत से काम करते हैं इनके लिए थोड़ी सी तालियां बजा तालियां बजा आपके लिए भी बहुत बहुत तालियां ये देखें जी हाँ ये माशाला जी टीम है इधर सारी खड़ी हो जाए सारी टीम खड़ी हो जाए ये देखें और ये देखें जी सईद भाई और ये सारे लोग जो है ये अपना माशाला ये बड़ी मेहनत लो जी ये माशाल्लाह बड़ी मेहनत हो रही है तिक्के लग रहे हैं और ये तिक्के जो हैं वो जबरदस्त लाइव नहीं लाइव नहीं चल definitely i noticed he been working very hard for last many year i have seen him distributing the words of quran distributing the food to the people who are in a need he has no relative i have seen in his store he is serving pizza serving the those people who are less unfortunate this is the god blessing that we are sitting all here we have more food on the table what about those people who are on the other side of the east side or the valley side which they don't have even stay thank you rahat rao thank you you are doing a great job yes oh yes obviously his uh, uh, role as a media because he is not only a person who is providing the advocacy around the globe he is not only the person who is helping the community his role as a media person to the words and you doing a great job i have seen your program you are doing a great job at the last i would like to thank all of you to to give me those support those trust and the last word i would never breach your trust i would try my best to the last that of my i have that i would work up till your trust thank you very much <laughs> राहुल सो मैं सबको यही कहना चाहूंगी कि बेनपुर की जान दिलवना पाकिस्तान